Hi guys. Just wait for a few to come in. Hello Anne. <coughs> Hello Nia. Debs. Hello Candy. Hello Natalie. Hello Anne. Oh, you really knew? That's that's fine. Um, I'll introduce you to the stream shortly. Hi, sister. Hello, B Bright. Hello, Nicole and Sue and Susie's Coloring Cottage. Uh, hi, Debs. Hi, Leslie. Hello, Lizette. Hello, Caroline. Hello, Victoria. Oh, thank you, Anne. Hi, Katrina. Hello, Pat. Oh, nice to have you here. Hi, Pickle. Hello, Susan. Hi, Christine. Mod salute. Mods salute. Hi, Laura. Daisy B, how are you doing? All right. Nice to see you. And Joy's here. Hello, Joy. Pepper's tea. Yeah, excellent for you to join. Uh, we soon got up there, guys. Uh, up to 31 now. Oh, I'm glad you like it, Anne. It's weird, isn't it? Uh, when you wait for Amazon, it seems to take ages. And then when they when it comes, it's like Christmas all, all year round, isn't it? <laughs> Hello, wifey. Hi, May. You all right? Hi, Cheshire. Hello, Tracy. Nice to have you all here. I'm okay, Daisy. Thank you. I'm okay. Um, I hope you are too. Have no fear, May is here. It's actually it's January. But um don't troll hammers at the ready, yes. Uh there's only you and me at the moment. I don't know where my other one is. Oh, she's here, look. Hi, Kimchi. <clears throat> nice to have you here. Oh, thanks, Tammy. Yeah, I, I couldn't think of anything else to uh, to call it. Cause I'm, I, it the the colour along is going to be with um, Nathaniel Wake um, with Eric Messenger and some of these dc comics i thought it was a bit of a manly month uh so i just decided to call the color along manuary ah <laughs> oh, bless you kim thank you how is everybody have we all recovered yeah i'm, I'm excellent joy thank you yeah thanks for asking I hope everybody's recovered uh, from Christmas and, um, you know, I presume most of us are back at work now. Uh, oh, that's lovely, Caroline. Thank you. Yeah, when we all have to go back to work, it's uh, it's reality all at once, isn't it? And, uh, you know, a bit of those Monday blues, even though I went back on a Wednesday. Uh, but, yeah, it... Uh, it's not the best. Sorry, guys. I'm just um, Xing out a lot of these notifications. I have stopped them, and they're still coming through. And it's covering up my chat. So I will end here to do that as quickly as possible. Ooh, I don't know what that what happened there.
There we go. Hello, Mona. Nice to see you. Could everybody say hello to Anne Holland, please? Uh, that's a new person in the stream. Uh, she has been watching, but has not uh, coming to chat as yet. So she's joined us this evening. You'll get a warm welcome from this lot, Anne, I can assure you. There you go. Hello, Janice. How's my Game of Thrones buddy doing? Back there in Thornton, Cleveland. Hello, Nana. So glad you could join. <laughs> okay, be bright. Hello, Laura. Yeah, that's great. Thank you, Susan. Yeah, uh, it does help with the channel, guys. Uh, the thumbs ups do anyway, or thumbs down, whichever way you want to do it. Don't make a difference to me. Hello, Catherine. So glad you could make it. <clears throat> Hello, Verica from Norway. So nice of you to join us. I have another Norwegian in the house. If you'd like to uh, say hello to May, or May say hello to Verica, whichever way around. Yeah, they, they do come in quick on a Friday, and um, yeah, it's becoming uh, obviously a. Uh, uh, same time and place kind of place now. Okay, guys, I'll just um, open this can. Just bear with us a second. I've got a very dry throat, so you'll have to bear with me, please. It is hard to keep up. I'm terrible at that, Kim. Oh, thank you, and that's that's lovely to say. Thank you. I try my best. Okay, guys, I'm uh, we're past fifty now, so uh, I'm sure there'll be more coming in, but um, I'm going to start with the bits and bats that we have. And could everybody just remember, guys, hello, Blue. Um, I will be putting links to all the products that I uh, show today. I'll be putting them in the description straight after the video. Um, I literally have only been at home from work, hence the dressing gown look. Uh, I've only been home from work about 40 minutes. So it's been a case of um, jumping in the shower, making a cup of tea, uh, and coming down here to uh, say hello to you all. Hello, Pamela. Hello, Michelle. Really good to have you all here. Hey, Mama. How are you doing? Hope you're well. Um, I'm not sure if Sammy's going to come in tonight, guys. Um, Naya, would you uh, do me the honours? Um, mind you... Um, just bear with us. Just trying to think who. Are you okay with uh, modding, Naya? I don't know if you've done it before, have you? Just the dressing gown, Caroline, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, I've come straight. Yeah, I didn't want to be late, so... Um, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that you're not feeling well, Susan. Okay, then, Naya. Uh, it's just I, I've got a funny feeling that um, I might need an extra one, that's all. Um, I've made you a mod, Naya. Um, I know I can trust you. Um, Not that I can't trust anybody else. It's just that I know that uh, we have been speaking. 
I'm not teasing anybody, Christine, and stop bloody calling it a harem, will you? <laughs> oh, hello, Shalene. Lovely to have you. And here's me other favourite, Cathy, see you look. Nice to have you, Cathy. You are, mate. You're more than enough. You know I can't handle you at the best of times. Mod salute. Mod salute. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, guys. So uh, I'll get I'll get started then, um, and then we can get some colouring done as well. So um, the first thing I want to show you this evening um, was I saw a a deal on Amazon. Um, hello, Ashley. Hi, Nick and Tina. And I got these guys. Um, I know for a fact I won't be buying any more than this. Uh, they do seem a bit of a faff uh, to get used to. But because they, I, I didn't know they did a, uh, an individual skin tones pack, it's only a five pack, uh, I thought it'd be fun to try them. Um, and also you've got the, the blend factor because uh, I have seen them work and they do look good uh, for the skin. And, you know, there's plenty of portraits in my books, so... I thought I'd give these a blast. And um, I think they were £15, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm the same, Tammy. Um, but, oh, do you like them, mate? Do you? Oh, great. I didn't ask you about that. No, right. That's fair enough, Mama. Uh, I know she's not doing great, has she? Uh, well, pass on my best from me, will you, please, uh, Susan? Uh and obviously, if she needs me for anything, tell her to give me a call. Um, a call. Give me a message. Okay, guys. So they come uh, in five different shades here. Um, you've got the nude, which is this one. Yeah, I, I agree, Victoria. Um, because there was, I think it was about ten pounds off. I think there should have been maybe twenty-four pounds, something like that. Um, uh, where's Nick and Tina gone? Let's have a look. What's happened to Nick and Tina? I can't see them, but I can see everybody calling them. That's very odd. Are you in the stream, Nick and Tina? Uh, not sure, Christine. Um, a pound is about a US dollar thirty-five, something like that. Uh, the, I think it was about three days ago, Anne. And like I said, there's only five, but because the, 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 they're all skin tones. Um, no, all the pencils, Nana. Yes, I do. Um, I can show you them tonight, actually. So we've got NU0, which is sand. We've got NU2, which is light peach. And then NU4, which is caramel. And then we've got BR4, which is, come on, come on, burnt umber. And we've also got nude, which is NU00. Hello, Faye. Nice of you to join. I've just watched your video, Faye. It was brilliant. You've got some uh, really belting stuff there. You don't mess about, do you, when you get pencils and books? <laughs> Fantastic uh, haul that was. Hello, Joie de Faye, if that's how you pronounce it. Or Joie de Faye. Yeah, it was impressive, Faye. I, I enjoyed your video. It was really, really good. Um. I can't help get the feeling that we've got a problem with Nick and Tina. Um, I think Katrina said hello to them, but I can't see them on the stream or something. Oh, dear. Oh, well. I'll address the issue later if there is one. So, yeah, I, I got these guys. Um uh, Ironically, I've got five slots uh, left in my rack here that's just above. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. 
there is five slots in that rack there um, left. So I can use that to put them in. Although they're extremely long as well. Um, not really sure why they're so long, but I think it's because there are um, a chamber plus the two ends, that kind of thing. So they're going to go in there anyway. Um, so it just worked out right, really. Um, and I'll let you all know uh, how I get on with them. Nice rack, yeah. Um, <laughs> you can tell you're from England, Caroline. Uh, that's funny. So, um, so I've got those guys in in a deal. Um, so they've been purchased. And then while we've got her in the stream, I would like to wish uh, a very nice person, uh, Caroline Hopkins. I think she's in the stream. She won my last giveaway. And um, Caroline's been under the weather lately. And um, so obviously uh, her job's not helped and she's been poorly and not being able to work properly, things like that. So Merry Christmas to Caroline. This is yours. I've got you this for Christmas. Sorry, it's late. Um, it is all sealed up. Um, I'm I'm gonna um, I'm gonna get you this sent out uh, tomorrow. Um, I am working in the morning, so I will uh, put it in a post box for you tomorrow in a nice padded envelope. And I hope you enjoy it. Uh, you do deserve a bit of happiness, so I hope you uh, I hope you enjoy that. Um, and it's nice to uh, nice to be able to cheer somebody up. I know you've been through a lot, and uh, I know what it's like. I can assure you. So, happy Christmas, Caroline. Um, I really, really hope that you uh, enjoy it, and you're more than welcome. Um, I, you know, anybody that I can help, I will do, um, and people know that. So, then, guys, now. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna call this a funky book because I've been waiting for it so long. Uh, I showed Sammy uh, this book about oh it must be ten weeks ago, and um, it's by an artist called Junko Mizuno. Um, now Junko Mizuno has got other books, uh, and it, the the name of her famous book escapes me for the moment. But this one is, is really, really good. Uh, if you look at the bottom here, we've got two fingers uh, pointing to the words mature audience. And um, it's fantastic. And, and I will be putting a link, including uh, the Fairy Miracles book. If, so if you, if you do want to purchase any of these, guys, if you just give me half an hour after the stream, and I'll make sure that those links are up. And... Um, you know, it makes makes sense that um, I'll get a few pence back. Um, it's going to end at about 11 o'clock um, GMT. Uh, I go on just before Nick and Tina. Um, yeah, brilliant, Pat. Thank you. So I really want to show you this because it's, it's so unusual, but the paper is also very unusual. So you open it up, guys. It has, on the front, it's got this this like glossy red embezzled foil kind of thing. And then you've got this, this woman, crab, octopus, uh, I'm not sure what the correct terminology is for six legs. It's not oct anyway. Um, so, yeah. And then on the back, you, you, it keeps in tune with the same colour scheme, which is like a pale green, a pink, uh, and it's just good. But the reason why I like it, is because of the images. Now you open it up, guys. Now this one here is the opening page, which is the cover. Uh, it's very smooth paper, but it has, believe it or not, it has got a tooth because I can see it. So is is everything all is everything okay, mods? Um, do I, is anything I need to know? Is something going on or? Everything okay? All right, Christine, I'll leave it with you. Are you okay, Naya? Um, if you just follow, um, 
Kim T, Christine and May, they, they, they'll uh, they'll talk you through it. No, sorry, uh, Connie. I said GMT, which is Greenwich Mean Time. So it's it's UK London time. Thank you, May, and um, thanks, Naya. So yeah, you, you've got this. Uh, this is the cover on the front, but you'll see what I mean in a minute, guys. Look at these. So it, it starts off, and you've got all these mini horoscopes with this, and I think they call this girl Junko. Um, and it's it's really 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 cute. Uh, there's a girl here which I'm Capricorn, and she sat on the pot. Uh, and somebody, uh, this little animal or colleague or friend is getting the toilet roll for her. I mean, how gross is that, please? Um, then, of course, you've got uh, Sagittarius, Aquarius with the water. You've got Pisces, all the usual things. And they're all pretty nice. Uh, and then, of course, Capricorn, she sat on the bog. I mean, what's that about? <laughs> so... Yeah, so I don't know what that tells us, um, Susan. Um, but whatever it tells us, uh, we're unique because we're not like the rest of these on here. So anyway, and then it, it kind of just, you know, it doesn't follow on from anything. And then you've got this lovely page here, which is just a burger, and this one with three eyes. Uh, it's quite thick line out. You'd be able to use uh, most things on this. It is, unfortunately, double-sided. But inside the burger, there's a guy's head, and he's smoking a cigarette. Uh, then you've got this guy who looks like Stewie from Family Guy with a moustache and a wig. Uh, he's obviously uh, with this girl here who has got incredible eyes. And then their two children haven't got any eyes. So I don't know what that's about. It is odd, but the quality is lovely. And then, I mean, I won't do a full in-depth uh, flip through unless anybody asks me for one. But as you can see, it's very cartoony uh, on an adult kind of level. Um, but it's the artwork is so imaginative. Uh, I mean, that's a really nice image here. Uh, no, I'm not from the mountain, love. I'm from Yorkshire. Uh, and you can't get any more. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you a tale, guys. You can't get any more Yorkshire than this. Hey, bro, uh, you are there. Uh, I thought you were there before, but I couldn't find you. <laughs> you can't get any more Yorkshire than this, guys. I was working in the Steel City today, which is Sheffield in the UK. Uh, my friends across the pond uh, probably don't know much about Sheffield. But it's called the Steel City because of that reason. That they're quite famous for making steel. So I've been right at the heart of Yorkshire all day, and I had a bit of a set to with this one debtor this afternoon. And a woman, come, this is Yorkshire for you. This woman come out at house, and she come up to the car and she says, "Here, yeah, I love. I brought you a pot of tea." And she brought me a cup of tea because she knew that was the first thing that a Yorkshireman would want. Yes, the full Monty, that's correct. That was set in Sheffield. Uh, so uh, all my friends over the pond, if you've seen the full Monty, uh, that's where I've been today. Uh, back to this book then, guys. This is called Sakiko the Butcher. Now, obviously, there is a paper doll here. She's wielding an axe or a cleaver. She's got a boobs art, which is, uh, you know, I mean, what we can't. We can't ask for much more. She's, you know, she's got a boobs art. Uh, this, this, uh, she's called the reliable part-timer, this little one. She's carrying uh, a large sausage. <laughs> and um, it says potato and meat croquette is their speciality. But please don't step on the meat. Uh, and then, of course, you can cut out these aprons and uh, skewers and things like that. And then dress said woman up, who is uh, who is butt naked. Um, but I'm not going to do that for obvious reasons. Uh, I, I'm not. I'm not for. <laughs> but I, I will be. Um, I will be colouring uh, all all the stuff in here. I think it's really really sweet. Um, so 
like I said, I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Uh, but as you can see, guys, I mean, it's beautiful. It really is a nice book. Um, I'm going to, like I said, put links. She's got a boobs art again here. She's called Mako the Witch. And then you've got the same stuff again. You've got this bloodstained apron that you can cut out here. Uh, so she, it's very macabre, is this book. And how cool is this, this broom? It's, it's a woman's head. Uh, and she's called the flying broomstick that's usually sleeping. So if you start mopping floor with her, she's going to be a bit peed off with you. So I absolutely adore this book. I can't tell you how much I do. It is so, so nice. I'm going to put a link up, Anne. Um, if you give me half an hour after the... Um, if you give me half an hour after the stream is finished, I'll put I'll put all the links on, and then if if you want to, yeah, thanks, Naya. Um, if you just read Naya's comment, she, she's explaining uh, what I mean by that. But Anne is new, everybody. I don't know if I've introduced you to Anne. Uh, I did earlier on, but there's a lot more in now. We've got seventy four in the stream. So if anybody who hasn't already, if they could say hello to Anne Holland for me, um, she's new to the stream and she's joined us this evening. And then we have uh, we have a different take on the on the uh, star signs. Uh, this time, Susan, uh, we are what are we doing on this one? Oh, we're on a broom. We're on a broom on this one. We're not so bad. But again, all different kind of stuff. And then you've got this really glossy page here, which is all stickers, and I think you can put them in the book. But it just shows you how different. Um, the book is um she's on um so yeah she's on instagram at junko mizuno art uh and she's asking uh that we could tag her in pictures and things like that now the other two books are in two volumes and they're called pelu one and two um now they are available uh i will put a link up for them if i can remember Hello, Melissa. Nice to have you here. Okay, Michelle, no problem. And then, guys, I've got this book, which is Alien. Now, I, I used to love the film. I'm sure we all liked the, I don't know how many there was. Was there four, maybe? Three or four? This is... Uh, a really nice book because it's full of gadgetry and uh, spaceships and creatures and humans uh, it's a really nice quality book again the downside is that uh, it's on it's not double yeah it's single it's not single-sided should I say uh, but there are lovely images in here uh, after it's done, on the, the, um, under the under the video, there'll be a drop-down arrow, a little arrow on the right-hand side. If you give it half an hour or so, when you click that, it will um, it will show the description, and then there'll be the links in there, and you can just click on any of them to purchase. So yeah, that's this is Alien, guys. Um, back to my childhood with this one. I think. It, I'm not 100% sure. Was it the late 70s when... Hello, Jane. Nice to have you here. Um, was it the late 70s when Alien came out? I think it was. Um, and then we... Uh, was it Susan Sarandon? I'm not 100% sure. But they were great films. Um, and, of course, part of my childhood, certainly. Um, I think there's three or four of them. Oh, that's nice of you, Naya. Thank you. So that's Alien, guys. It's quite a weighty book. It's nice and thick. Uh, the images are really nice. Um, and on the back, it just tells uh, the audience. It just basically says, you still don't know what you're dealing with, do you? Perfect organism. And then 
the message from the uh, illustrator, who is, by the way, uh, it's not. I've not mentioned that, have I? Let's have a look. If it's Titan Books is the publisher, Titan Books, but uh, the illustrator is Adriano Vincente, who I've never heard of. Oh, is it seventy nine? So yeah, uh, Sigourney Weaver. That's right, Mama. Um. So yeah, they've been going a long time. Um, and it's it's a really nice book. It's quite heavy, and of course, as soon as it looks quality, then I have to buy it. But uh, that's just me. And then I got another really nice book, which I like the feel of. It's got this. Uh, it's a really massive, thick book, guys. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, this will be a, there will be a link for this as well. Hi, Morticia. Um, this is called the Retro Colouring Book. It's got a right um, smooth uh, kind of matte cover. Uh, and it's it's basically just uh, mindless colouring. But as you can see in here, that I think there's... Let me just check how many pages there is. It is. It's lovely, Christine. I think I saw somewhere that there's 200, 200 pages. But, I mean, you've got things like uh, old tattoos, the old sailors. You've got, you know, just so many images that's just got sections to colour. It's not, you know, this won't be about blending and, and uh, layering and things like that. Perfect book for markers, I would say. Um, that's the old PlayStation joystick, joypad look. Um and then you've got Donkey Kong here with the ladders, which I thought were pretty cute. Um, then you've got the Nintendo pad here. Um, not sure what that is. Oh, that's the actual Nintendo itself, the console. Then you've just got patterns. You've got uh, zigzags. It's a huge, huge book. Um, the 1980s in big letters. Yeah, uh, funny you should say that, Jane, and then that comes up. So, yeah, uh, good call. But it, it, it's really Lego here, look. Some Lego, uh, an old cassette uh, with some music notes surrounding it. Rubik Cube. Uh, don't know what that's supposed to be. So... It's really nice. Disco Ball, 1980s again. It's really nice. Oh, Simon Says. Does anybody remember that game, Simon Says? Where you had to follow all the... Um... Hi, Shara. We had to follow all the um, the sequence of notes. That was quite, um, quite a frustrating game when it got past about six or seven. I am, Jane, yeah. Uh, but this, this 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 is a retro coloring book after all, and, and I think this was only eight pounds, guys, and it's huge, but it's very very well made and paper is really nice. So, you know, super tips that kind of thing, uh, be lovely just to just to you know, I look at that. That's the old stand up uh, arcade game that you put ten p in. Oh, did you, Kim? <laughs> All right. Well, we can both enjoy it. There's not a problem with that. Um, but, yeah, really, really, really enjoyed that book. So I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, then I got... Uh, last couple of things now, guys. Then I got Roald Dahl, uh, famous colouring book adventure. Now, I did have this one ages ago. Can't find it anywhere. Um, not sure um, where it's gone. But I really do like this uh, this book. It's got Willy Wonka in and all that kind of stuff. Oh, I'm glad you've got it, Pickle. Um, but there's some really, really nice images in here. Uh, this one, a Willy Wonka's beauty. I want to do that picture some justice. Oh, good, Susan. I'm glad. Has it 300 now? Gosh, I thought I'd seen 200 somewhere, but I must have read it wrong. Right, so it's 300 pages. So it's well worth the money. Um, 
So I got this one, guys. This has got a really good paper. Um, this has worked well with my Kazan pencil. And um, so really happy about that. You've got Charlie and the Chocolate Factory in it. We've got, uh, who else we got? Matilda, Magic Finger, James and the Giant Peach, uh, the Giraffe and the Pellet and Me, George's Marvelous Medicine, Fantastic Mr. Fox, and so on and so on. So I, I think that was on offer. I think I paid a fiver for this book. Uh, really nice, weighty, good paper. Oh, a bit of that. And then finally, guys, I bought these markers. Um, I'm okay, thanks, Penny. Nice to see you, love. I've not spoke to you for a while. Um, these markers are called the Brush Markers by Karen. Now, I saw these on a review the other day on Claire's channel. Yes, the Karen markers, Naya. And uh, they come in this really pretty box. Um, they're a lot smaller than I thought they would be. Um, it comes out very much like a, um, the old Pentel pens. But I don't know if you can see that. I'm moving the ink, guys, left to right. Can you see it? See the air bubble there? You could use that as a spirit level, that kind of thing. So, and the colours that Claire showed are absolutely fantastic. They're also a water-based marker, and you can you can use a water brush or a paintbrush with them as, as well. So you can dilute, drag your colour around, make it, um, you know, uh, lighter in places. You can add two together. You can mix them both together. And um, I really, really like these markers. Um so what that's a blender uh you can use the blender to blend two colors together in fact this sent so that's another blender i think they've sent three blenders by the look of it so yeah they have so you get three blenders with it guys you get some uh, awesome color range um this is sepia uh, some nice greens here. This look, these two would be my choice of greens. And what we got? We've got lime green and curry. Now that's that's uh, that's the first time I've seen a, a color called curry, uh, but it is very uh, a curry color for uh, especially if you get Chinese in the UK. Yeah, it is cool, isn't it, Tommy? Yeah. So um, I got these. And um, I had a little bit of money left over from Christmas. Uh, so I thought, why not? I haven't been out. I, I went to that buffet, guys, but that's about it. Yeah, okay, Victoria, not a problem. Sorry, I forgot to do that. So this one is uh, the fire red. And as you can see, the bubble going. And if you take the, the tip off, you've got this fine brush nib. Um, and then you can actually see, guys, when the ink comes through, there's some lines on here, a bit like a ruler. So you can see how much is coming through at any one time, which I think is magnificent. And I'm kind of get the feeling that these are refillable. Uh, I've not read into it. So like I said, I've just come straight home from work. But let me just get this leaflet out. Looking at that, the construction looks as though they may be refillable. Let's have a look. So, you can, as it shows on here, guys, you can put two tips together and then make the, the blend that way. You can put two markers down on paper and then get the blender to blend them that way. Um, or you can get the water out. Now, I'm just trying to find where where the actual, uh, if it says anything about the construction of the tank, because that nib looks as though it easily comes off. There might be a bigger book at the bottom, perhaps. Um, but anyway, guys, I would imagine as well that they are available open stock. Each, a, each uh, lid has the barcode on, and it also has the color name on, which this one is magenta. 
uh, magenta 359 and then of course there's the barcode so I am of the opinion uh, but I might be wrong that they will be open stock and they will be refillable they must be because look at this they just screw straight off so yeah they're definitely refillable guys so that's that's a really nice uh, gift to have come I missed one parcel as well. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, great, Naya. Uh, they're open stock, are they? Right, so that, we've had that confirmed, people. Um, they are open stock. And between £2 and £3 each. Yeah, I'm going to put some affiliate links up after, uh, Morticia. If you give me about half an hour, that'd be great. Um I've just been a bit rushed to get, get here and get on in time. Um, let me just read the back of this. Let me see if it tells you anything about and it's all in uh, It's all in German, unfortunately, or, or, and Polish, or both. But I've got a feeling that they, they will be refillable. So, okay, guys. And it's, it's quite a nice box. It... it you know, it's one of them, and it just closes with a magnet here. Sorry, turn it around. So when you... It just shuts with a magnet on this side. So these, these were... Uh, these will be a nice uh, thing to add to my collection. And that's it, guys. Whew. Oh, no, it isn't. I've got this as well. Uh, this is... I ordered this at the same time as the last one I showed. The, I think the yellow one, was it? The yellow one. Uh, this is a slightly um, larger nib than the yellow one. Um, so this is for... Sorry, this is a smaller nib. So this is more finer detail that you would use this for. Hi, X1X. Excellent. Yeah, lovely box. Um, uh, they, were, they were about 80 quid, Susan. Uh, for 60 of them so you know just over a pound a pound each ish round about that hi Nikki lovely to see you so yeah and that's it guys so uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start colouring this cover um how long have we, oh, we've got plenty of time. Um, is everybody okay? I'll just take a drink, guys. Just excuse me a moment. Okay. Now I've not sharpened uh, any of those, but I'm going to I'm going to start with the Erogitons anyway. So, get these off. I want like a... Like a grass green is the green lantern. I think they might do... Flash green. Oh, they're fluorescent, those, so that won't be. Parrot green and chartreuse, that might do for starters. Yeah, I'm going to put a link up after Mortish if that's all right. Um, the comic, Katrina, or the markers? I know. I, I, they're going in. A, they're going in a pencil case, Jane. I, I can't do that every time. As 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 much as they are nice, um, and really, really, um, you know, pretty to look at. There's there's no practicality, um, like you see, opening nine boxes to find a colour. 
Um, so yeah, um, the 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 definitely definitely going in a case. Uh, I'm okay, thanks, Nikki. How are you? Um, very pretty, but just so impractical. It's untrue, you know. Uh, I still haven't found the one that I want. Yeah, I'll post all the links after, guys. No, it's going to have to be the parrot green we're going to start with. Okay. So I'll just keep them up there for the time being. A bit cramped on here because I haven't put anything away or anything at the moment. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that, Nikki. Yeah, I think I'll end up doing the same, Catherine, because... Yeah, I mean, just to look at uh, 10 pencils every, you know, you, and there's the same colour in each box, but different shades of said colour, you know, so it's, yeah. Um, make sure I've got a sharpener. Yes, I have. One second, guys, and then we're away. So I'm just going to start off with Parrot Green, guys, uh, which is uh, the Erogeton pencil. Um, I have seen covers of the Green Lantern before, and um, it's a similar green to this. It might not be identical, but I did want to use the Erogetons for this uh, particular paper uh, because I do know that the Erogetons are very hard. Um, and, of course... I want to make sure that it was a hard pencil that I used because it's quite a tough, um, it's quite a tough paper to uh, to cover up completely. Um, so I'm just putting the first layer down first, guys. Uh, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to try and uh, darken out the edges with the, uh, there is another green in there. I'm going to have to open them all back up again. When I've put a few layers on, and um, and then I'm going to darken the corners uh, so that the uh, the centres look at the highlight, look like the highlight, should I say? But I have to say that these erogitons are going down really well. Um, they smell absolutely gorgeous. What the Rogertons on? That's that's crazy. <laughs> I'd be on the phone. Uh, let me go back to Katrina because she asked me a question, didn't she? And I don't know if I answered it. And so look. She asked me what it was by. I'm not sure if she meant the markers or, or this comic, um, but I can answer it if she comes back. He's 82 in the house, guys, which is fantastic. Has anybody, um, has anybody actually watched the Green Lantern? I think I've only seen one of the uh, trailers, that's about it. I've never actually watched any of the series. There was a series, wasn't there? Uh, I don't think I've seen any of those. Uh, thank you, Tammy. Okay, Lizette, no worries. Yeah, I, I've not seen the film. I, I might make a point of um, trying to get that and have, have a watch. Hope everybody's glad that it's Friday for start. 
I know I am. I've got to work in the morning, but I've only got to do five hours, so it's not too bad. If I can get out for 6 a.m., guys, in the morning, I'll be done for just about 11-ish. Uh, and then I've got all afternoon to uh, to either watch streams or watch the sport. Something like that. I must say I'm uh, impressed with these Rogertons. Uh I don't know if it makes any sort of sense. When you when you do an even stroke, you, you can. There's no lines. It doesn't. Um, it don't leave like marks. Um, I don't know if it's the paper or what, but um, you know. It's leaving a really smooth, even coat down, uh, which is nice. That's one of the things that we like about colouring, isn't it? You know, the uh, the way that the colours go down while you're colouring it, uh, it's very sedate, isn't it, you know, to do. So if I drop off, somebody uh, set alarm for me. <laughs> uh, I'm not joking. I recommend Omelu 106 day. Oh, I'll have a look for that, Nana. Thank you. Hello, Just Jen. Yeah, give us a poke, Susan, if I drop off. <laughs> yeah, agree, Catherine. Um, uh, totally, totally agree. Okay, guys, so that's um, that's one layer down. There is another mid-green somewhere. It's a bit darker. Oh. There we go. So I'm just going to um, go into the corners, guys, with the cactus green, uh, which is a more... It's slightly darker in tone, but it's got a, a brownie tinge to it or a khaki tinge to it. How are you anyway, Penny? Are you okay? Hope you're well. How's the book getting on? Uh, have you done plenty of pictures in it? Hope you have. Hello, Elizabeth. I don't think I said hello to you. How are you doing? It does go quick, must admit. So who's got plans for streams this weekend? Uh, are you doing any slots, Naya? Hello, Heidi. Nice for you to join. Um, I know Shalene, who's in the stream at the moment, she does an excellent show on a Sunday. Um, I'm not sure if Sammy's going to be well enough to do her stream tomorrow. 
Um, Nick and Tina are after me. Sunday afternoon, and you have a new regular slot on a Monday. All right. Okay. Oh, of course, Christine, you've started on a Sunday as well, along with May. So that's going to be a jam-packed Sunday. You've got Christine, May, and Shaleen. I, I just think she's under weather a bit. Um, uh, you know, I, I don't think she's just not feeling right at the moment. Um, she might obviously come on and tell you all. I'm not sure. But yeah, Sundays are action packed. Really good. So I'm hanging out with Christine, May, and Shaleen on a Sunday. Uh, every Friday, I'm. Um, but I haven't. Hello, Samantha. Um, I haven't picked another day yet um, because I was working away a lot before Christmas. I didn't want to say I'd do two days a week and then not do the second day. So uh, it may well be a day through the week, probably. And um, But I've not decided what day yet. I, I, to be honest, I need to look um, and kind of check who's doing what first before I step on anyone's toes or anything. Uh, but there'll be certainly another uh, a second stream, live stream uh, per weekend. Um, if that's any use to you. Uh, I've I've got another thing I can tell you guys. I've got um I've got a collab coming up uh with the lovely John across at the bibliophile colorist. Uh we're gonna do something um together at Easter. Um, I have my ongoing bromance uh, with Nick across at Nick and Tina Colours. Yeah, it should be cool, uh, Samantha. And then I have something in the pipeline with um, with May and also something in the pipeline with Harry from the Art Gear Guide. Uh, so, you know, there's plenty to look forward to. Um, I, th I think it's just a case at the moment of deciding what we're going to do and when we're going to do it. Um, but obviously, um, the fact that we are doing it has already been decided. So that's something to look forward to as well, guys. I am very slow, people, so sorry about that. Yeah, Nick and Tina are great. Um, they're a man and wife team who um, have banter on stream. Um, they both colour uh, as well, so it's quite, it's quite rare and unique. Um, but they've got great chemistry on camera. And... Um, yeah, do check them out, Nikki. You'll uh, probably enjoy it. Oh, dear, Anne, that's terrible. There's not worse than not being able to sleep. I am, Caroline. I can't, I can't do a... It's just called Nick and T Colours. So N-I-C and the letter T Colours. Spelt the American way. Uh, in fact, are they still here? Are you still here, Nick and T? Uh, Nick and Tina, are you still here? Yeah, just search for it, Anne. Uh, I'll be in the stream later as well. Um, 
We've got we've got ninety in the house, nearly guys. I, I quite like them, CB. Um, they're a hard pencil, um, but I do have a light hand, so I'm not finding them a problem at the moment. Um, uh, you know, they, they seem a good quality pencil. I've only just done this bit at the moment, um, but yeah, they do seem quite good. Yeah, mate, that'd be great. I don't know if they're still here or not. Uh, everybody, uh, Nikki and and whoever else asked, um, are going to put a link for Nick and T's channel into the stream, guys. So feel free to check them out and go and um, subscribe if you like the channel. And then while we're on the subject of channels, um, if you look at um, a couple of my mods that are on this stream at the moment, uh, CL Aldridge Art and May Brox and Naya's Craft Corner, they've all got um, they've all got their own channels. Um, and you get three dots next to their name, uh, Anne and everyone else. All you have to do is click on the three dots. Um, the other person I mentioned, which was Shaleen, She's the colouring book nook. Um, she also has a channel. Uh, so the, the, the really uh, individual channels, and they're all excellent to watch. And, of course, Faye. Yes, sorry about that, Faye. I did mention you earlier on. Uh, Faye's got a channel as well. Um, in fact, I think everybody near enough has got a, ch a channel uh, in here. But um, you, you just need to click the three dots, uh, and then that will take you to their channel. And hello, hello. How are you doing, Mary Ann? How are you doing? <laughs> are you having one as well, Kim? That means all my mods are just going to have... Um, they're just all going to have channels. And everyone's slightly different. Um, of course, uh, Naya's very new to it, uh, but she, she does excellent reviews. Uh, May Brox... Uh, is absolutely awesome at watercolour. Shalene is a great colourist, but she has uh, a Sunday night, which I called SAS, which is Sunday at Shalene's, and it's just a chill-out night, and we, we have an absolute scream of a laugh. Uh, we play Mad Libs, and we have chat pack questions. Um, oh, are you from Essex, from Dan Seth? Oh, that's lovely, Anne. Thank you. And Erin, of course, you have a channel as well, and yours is really popular, but I haven't seen you earlier on. So, um, yeah, so the, everyone in here, just click on three dots, have a look at them, uh, and check them all out, guys, because uh, it's uh, we're all a good bunch here. Uh, there's no bitching or anything like that. So it'd be nice to, uh, to bump everybody's channel up. Uh, Janice, have you got a channel as well? No, I, I I I didn't see you in the stream till really early early doors, Erin. So I was just looking at the names that were in front of me. Uh, I perhaps should have uh, done that a bit better, but there was no uh, malice intended. And Pickles got one. Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, guys. So yeah. Um, Everybody's got a channel on here near enough. Uh, check them all out. They're really, really good. Anybody got books on order that are waiting? I've been waiting for one. Well, until that one came today, the um, the Mizuno one, that was about eight weeks, eight weeks long. 
Uh, I think that's up to come eventually. So, um, oh, have you got some trapped as well, Evan? What two books are you waiting for? Yeah, that that um, that one of mine took about eight weeks, and it said it would come a week after I bought uh, purchased it, but for whatever reason, I'm not sure. She did actually put something on um, on social media that it was delayed. A dinosaur book by William Scott and Fanciful Dogs. I've seen that Fanciful Dogs. It looks good. It's a good quality one. That don't know about the dinosaur book. Uh, I love dinosaurs though. Hi, Bob. Lovely to see you. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, the dogs one. I've, I can't remember whose channel I saw it on. It might have even been John's who we mentioned earlier. Um, it looks really good quality. Is it Ringbound, if I remember rightly, or quite a thick book? It's one of those two. Hello, Victoria. Yeah, Bab, um, I'm just doing a little something different. I'm going to do one one of these covers per month as a chat along. Yeah, they are pretty thick, yeah. I, I see there is a dog one or a cat one, I'm sure, that's ring-bound. Uh, hello, Dorothy, that, um, that also looks really good. I'll have to look into that. Happy New Year, Dorothy. Nice to see you here. Oh, you're waiting for that one, Nana. Uh, yeah, I saw a flip through of that one. Looks quite a good book. Uh, I'm not sure if I saw it on May's or somebody else's. Uh, but it does look a good book. Well, I've got you on, Christine. I've um, I've ordered those pencil extenders that you got. Um, they've not arrived as yet. I think they're coming from China. Um, so they could be a while, but uh, they look pretty awesome as well. Uh, if you're asking me, Joanne, no, I don't. I've I've got no um, mosaic books or anything like that. Is it a good book? Yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to them coming, Christine. Um, like I say, uh, I, I don't have anything like that, uh, extenders or anything. And they're quite reasonably priced, so I ordered them. I ordered them off that link you sent me, actually. got 89 in the house guys at the moment which is fantastic <clears throat> uh, subbed and means that you have subscribed uh to a particular person or channel oh thank you john 
I'm quite proud of it, to be fair. I've not been going that long. I think the first video I put up was on the 27th of August. Um, so it's about three months old is the channel at the moment. Oh, is it the voice, Jane, is it? <laughs> That's nice of you to say thank you. Is Mary still in the house? Um... Victoria, the reason why I, I, I started colouring, uh, I don't know if you have watched any of my other videos, but um, I won't go into the depths of it, but I was pre prescribed. I was diagnosed with uh, PTSD. Um, oh, thank you, Naya. And um, PTSD was quite bad that I had uh, due to uh, uh, a triple bereavement in my family. And um, so I, I started colouring, and then obviously I, I did it as a kid, but then, then as time progressed and, and this happened to me, I found that uh, colouring was a fantastic uh, meditation for me in so much that, you know, it calmed me down and various other things. And um, what happened then was I, I, I started colouring, and then I started watching a few videos. I think the first couple of people I watched, um, and Erin was one of the first that I ever watched, but I think the first three will have been Petter Hewitt and um, Dee Dee and Erin um, and a couple more. And then because of that, um, I then started seeing people's books. Uh, so... I was a I was a, a lurker in most streams for the best part of twelve months, just watching other people's streams and um, collecting books whilst this was going on. Um, and then I used to watch a certain channel, who I won't mention, but I used to watch this certain channel, and um, you know I. I, d I didn't think that she was very fair with people and always wanted to uh, argue with everybody. And I thought, well, I could do as a better job than that anyway. Um, so I, I just thought from then on in, um, I'll, I'll, I'll have a go. Um, and then I just decided really that I'd just be myself um, and, and show the books I mean, I'm not I'm not a great colourist by any means. Uh, I do enjoy. It. I'm very slow, and some of some of the stuff that I do is is okay, you know. Um, but I just enjoy the whole the whole hobby, um, and especially the colouring parts. Um, and then, in addition to that, I've made a lot of friends as well, which is an added bonus. Yeah, I guess so, Naya. Yeah, it does win the race, uh, but but. Yeah, um, I, I can remember seeing one of your hauls, Evan, um, and you had all these wonderful books, and you were doing them in, in different shelves, I think, or different piles. I think it was shelves, and you were going up and down in the shelves. And um, I thought, oh, that'd be ace to have that many books. <laughs> and then, of course, you just get the you get the bug, don't you? And, um, and there on in, I just started lurking and... Um, colouring and then participating in a few chats and then before I knew it I, w I, w I had me I had my channel planned uh, I do Victoria but my job's the worst for that uh, I work all over the UK so it all depends on where I am to how much time I have I do try and take a book with me if I'm staying in an hotel but of course 
you don't take your best stuff with you because you know that and and that actually came true over christmas because i left one of my books <laughs> um but yeah um so it just depends where i'm working i guess um but it does allow me to to uh call on a night if i'm working away but of course if you're working away you can't do much with your channel so you know it's it's as long as it's broad really Not a problem, Victoria, yeah, not a problem. Um, my partner, um, no, that's not really a, uh, a thing um, at the moment, Nikki. So, no, is the answer to that. Also a big music fan, guys. Um, thank you, Janice. I appreciate that. Uh, it's uh, nice of you to say that. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, um, Victoria, why not? Um, you know, I think if you have that way with people, um, I think that, you know, half of the battle's already already done. And thank you very much, Caroline. That's a lovely thing to say. Um, yeah so you know it, it, it's it's i think I'm, I'm a very very much a people person uh always have been i mean i'm a policeman for many years and of course now i work in the high courts so i'm dealing with members of the public all the time so i think that does help but it but it i think it also allows you to be who you are you know in any any shape or form or walk of life really um because you have to be in my job otherwise you know you don't get anywhere but it is um oh that's really nice of you to say tammy thank you and thank you rainbow too Yeah, that's. I think I'm getting known for a bit of that, Elizabeth. Uh, finding the, uh, you know, finding the unusual books. Um, that's that's true, Christine, and 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 I've spotted a few myself. Uh, but yeah, you can spot a phony from a mile off. You're right. But I enjoy it, guys. It's um, you know, it's it's gone as well as I could expect as well. Um, you know, you know, and I, it's it's nice to have a hobby. I think as well. Uh, you know, I think that if if you've got a hobby, you've got some kind of order in your life, haven't you? You know, some a little bit of structure uh, where. I would imagine it's quite easy to get lost if you've just got the job and you come home, especially if you live on your own like I do. Um, you know, you, you'd be coming home and then just succumbing to the TV or going out to the pub or whatever. Uh, and I think you could quite easily get lost in that. Uh, 